Hi guys, it's me. Um, today I'm going to do a foundation review and tutorial. Um, you guys know that I usually use this, which is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15, and I'm the color NC45. Um, and if you know, you if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm so broke right now. So, so broke. But my Studio Fix Fluid is out, so this is me with no makeup. As you can see, I have a lot of discoloration, like this part of my face is like five shades darker than this part of my face, and this part's like somewhere in the middle, and I have like redness, and patching, and blah, and the list seriously can go on. And none of the colors match my neck, so it's like whatever. So this color is kind of in between all of those and really blends everything out nicely. Um, okay, but I can't afford, seriously, $30 for new foundation right now. So I went to a store, I don't even know which one, and I got the Revlon Photo Ready um, Makeup. And this one is in golden beige. But, so when I'm at the store, I'm like, uh, I'm used to somebody, like, testing me out, you know? Like always um but there was no one to do that so it's just like uh this is like kind of similar oh i there was one shade darker than this um before it got like really 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 dark but the shade darker than this one was very red it was very it had a very like really really red undertone and as you can see i have red patches all over my skin so i don't need a red undertone or i will look like snooky seriously um so, but when I got home, so I thought this one was going to be, like, perfect, like, oh, it's only. Okay, when I got home, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see the difference, um, but there's a good two or three shades difference between this one, so I was really worried about it, like, trying it and stuff, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I use it. I've already cleaned and moisturized my face, um, I'm not going to put on a primer or anything like that because this, um, foundation claims to like minimize pores and like very make it very like HD whatever um it was $11 but I had a $2 off coupon so it was $9 if that makes any difference so it has this little pump right here and I'm, this is an angled foundation brush which I really like a lot it's very stiff it's very dense and it um gets the job done for me so I'm just going to go ho ahead and squirt one pump this compared to the Fix Fluid is very runny. Like, it's just more runny. The other one's more, more like jellyish. And what I do is I just pat this on. And I start at my cheeks because that's definitely where I need the most um, coverage. And then, since my forehead is darker, like, um, it's much more noticeable that the color is very, very light. So, um, I just kind of drag it down like this. Um, I feel like this can, can no. foundation is, um, very light to medium coverage. I don't feel like I'm getting, you know, a whole lot of coverage and even evening out of my skin tone, the fix fluid would have covered this or at least evened it out so that you couldn't like really see a lot of the discoloration. So once I pat that on in the areas where I need it, I just go and I start blending and I make sure to blend well into my neckline. And um, just make sure everything is really, really well blended. I'm going to have a... Sorry about that, guys. My camera dies. Okay, so I just... Um, I finished blending this out all over my forehead. And um, um, I'm going to apply a little bit more just to my cheeks. So just like half a pump. And I'm just going to apply it here and I'm just going to pat it. Whenever you want a fuller coverage with foundation, don't brush it on and then brush it on and then brush it on. 
even if you're using a dual fiber brush like this, which I like to use with my fixed fluid, but since this is lighter coverage, um, this would give me an even lighter coverage. But when you're using this, just stipple it on. Just stipple, stipple it on in the areas that you need more coverage in. And um, you'll get it like that, but don't like add layers, if that makes any sense. Okay. So I'm going, this has a very dewy finish, which is nice, I guess, you like that kind of stuff, just kidding. So I'm just going to finish blending this out. Um, sometimes I would use concealer, but like, for example, if I'm going to school or something, I could really care less about concealer. I'm much more interested in evening out my face. So what I'm going to do next is take um, the Holy Grail Mineralized Skin Finish, and I'm in medium deep. And I take this with a dual fiber brush, and I just swirl that in there. And I just buff it into my skin lightly. And when I'm using a foundation like this that I feel like I don't get as much coverage as I should, um, I might even use a kabuki brush, um, which I don't have right now, but, um, but I'll just use this for the sake of this tutorial. Um, so, and again, make sure to blend this into your neck, um, into your hairline. Um, Next, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a full face routine, I guess, so not like leaving you guys halfway or anything. I'm going to take a bronzer, or, what is this called? Yeah, a bronzer, I guess. Or a contouring powder, whatever you like. And I'm going to take this one. You want something that's usually a few shades darker than your own skin tone. This isn't very much darker, but it will do. And I love this because it has chocolate in it and because my best friend Lauren gave it to me. And I'm going to take another foundation brush like this and I dipped it into, oops, I dipped it into this angle like this. So it's right here. So I can get a really good contour. You guys see that line that it makes? And obviously I'm going to contour in the hollows of my cheekbone. And then I'm going to contour um on my jawline and this is just to create an illusion if I was going out or something um I like to contour a lot because my face is very not even to say the word um, so yeah, I just drag the contouring powder like this, and then for sake of making this video short, because all my videos are so long, and I'm so sorry, and I'm going to try really hard to make them. Now I'm going to take my favorite blush ever, and this is Dolly Mix by MAC, and I have already hit pan on this, unfortunately, and I haven't had it very long, um, but I use it almost every day, so I'm just going to take a blush brush like this, and I'm just going to pat it on over, um, so like I put the contouring here, I'm going to put the pow the blush right here, um, and this is just one technique of applying blush, you could always um, apply it on the apple of your cheek or whatever, but since I'm contouring today, um, uh, I thought I would go along the cheekbone. Okay. Mm, okay. So this is pretty much. Um. And then you can just add or blend or do whatever, however you like. This is pretty much my foundation routine. And as for this, um, it doesn't cover the pores, and it's light to medium coverage but if that's what you need and your skin isn't very you know 
not, I don't want to say bad because I don't have bad skin, but if it doesn't have as many issues as my skin has, then this would be a really good foundation for you. Um, I don't want to compare it to my Fix Fluid very much because of the price difference. If there's going to be, you know, a, a lot of different things that go wrong, but, um, I like the foundation. I'm going to use it until it's payday and then I can go get my Fix Fluid. Um, but until then, yeah, so I have a few more videos coming up for you guys today. I hope you like this. I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.